Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Young and the Restless Tuesday, Sept 3 Update. Victor and Lily Plot Billy's Ruin, Chances 180, Chelsea's Quest. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Update for Tuesday, September 3, 2024 is here. Expect Victor Newman, Eric Braden, to agree to help Lily Winters, Crystal Kahlo, take down Billy Abbott, Jason Thompson, Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, doubts his decision to work at Chancellor. Plus, Chelsea Lawson, Melissa Claire Agan, seeks forgiveness. Keep reading and let's talk about what's coming up in the CBS soap. Lily Winters fights back. I and our spoilers for Tuesday, September 3 reveal that Lily's emotions are all over the place. Billy firing Lily doesn't make things any better. Lily promised Billy that she would fight back. Then Lily had a chat with Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott. As Nikki talked about Catherine Chancellor, Jean Cooper, seeds were planted. Nikki knew that's all she had to do was plant a seed, and that's what she did by reminding Lily about Catherine. I and our spoilers. Victor Newman's alliance. After chatting with Nikki, Lily made a phone call. That phone call was to Victor. Lily meets with Victor and the two discuss Billy. Victor and Lily strike a deal to work together to bring down Billy. However, making deals with Victor is always risky business. In the end, Lily might realize there is a very high price for the alliance. Chance Chancellor's 180. The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Tuesday, September 3 reveal that Chance has never totally been on board with Chancellor. Chance wanted to do something different from police work, so he took Jill Abbott's, Jess Walton business offer. However, Chance has never really agreed with how things were run. The office politics and mind games seem silly to Chance. At the same time, Chance wants to do the best job he can, especially since it's the family business. Chance will have a chat with Billy. By now, Chance must learn that Billy dropped Lily like a hot potato. Chance won't like the direction he sees Billy taking the company down. Chance is pretty vocal and will express his concerns. However, Billy sees it as Chance threatening to quit. Chance is honest and admits he is thinking about it. Could Billy end up pushing everyone away because of his rash decisions? The Young and the Restless Update, Tuesday, September 3, 2024. In Tuesday's episode, fans can also expect Chelsea to see forgiveness. Chelsea seems to be begging everyone for understanding and forgiveness. However, Chelsea should really be looking within herself for that. Which storyline are you looking forward to seeing the most on Tuesday? September 3, 2024. Victor Newman sat in the dimly lit corner of society, a glass of his favorite bourbon in hand. His face, chiseled by years of ruthless business dealings, was unreadable, but his mind was a whirlwind of strategic thoughts. Across from him, Lily Winters sipped her wine, her expression thoughtful as she listened to Victor lay out the details of his latest plan. Victor had long been the master of manipulation, and today was no different. His target? Billy Abbott. After all the trouble Billy had caused, from merely destroying Newman Enterprises to his tumultuous personal life that continuously blurred into business matters, Victor had decided it was time for a reckoning. Are you sure you want to do this, Victor? Lily asked cautiously, though she knew the answer. She had her own reasons for wanting Billy out of the picture— reasons that she kept close to her chest. Billy's erratic behavior was a liability, not just for his own life but for everyone around him. It was time someone reined him in before he did irreparable damage. Victor's eyes narrowed. Billy boy has had too many chances. It's time we teach him a lesson he won't forget. But this can't just be a simple takedown. We need to hit him where it hurts the most. His pride, his business, and his relationships. You know how to get close to him, Lily. Use that to our advantage. Lily nodded, a steely resolve settling in her chest. She was tired of Billy's self-destructive spiral, which seemed to drag everyone down with him. If aligning with Victor was what it took to save her family's legacy and ensure stability, then so be it. They spent the next hour strategizing, refining their plot to dismantle Billy's world brick by brick. Lily would play the supportive friend, the confidant he so desperately needed. She would feed him just enough hope to keep him from suspecting anything, while behind the scenes, she and Victor would pull the strings to ensure his downfall. 
Victor's final words before they parted ways echoed in Lily's mind. Remember, Lily, this isn't just business. It's personal. Chance's sudden shift. Meanwhile, over at the Chancellor estate, Chance Chancellor was in the midst of a transformation of his own. His time in Geno City had been filled with moral dilemmas, personal losses, and the constant pull between duty and desire. But today marked a turning point. He stood by the window, staring out at the perfectly manicured gardens, his mind a storm of conflicting thoughts. His recent brushes with danger had made him question everything, his career, his relationships, and even his own identity. Abby, his wife, had always been his anchor, but lately he had felt adrift, questioning whether the life they were building was truly what he wanted. Suddenly, the door to his study swung open, and Abby walked in, concern etched on her face. Chance, you've been distant lately. What's going on? Chance turned to face her, his expression serious. Abby, I've been doing a lot of thinking. My work, this constant cycle of danger and risk, it's not just a job anymore, it's consuming me. I'm losing myself, and I don't want to drag you down with me. Abby's eyes widened in alarm. What are you saying? Are you thinking of leaving the force? He sighed, running a hand through his hair. I don't know, Abby. Part of me wants to walk away from it all, start fresh, and focus on us, on our future. But the other part of me knows that I'm good at what I do, that I can make a difference. I just don't know how to reconcile those two parts anymore. Abby reached out, taking his hand in hers. Whatever you decide, we'll face it together. But you need to be honest with yourself, Chance. What do you really want? As Chance looked into Abby's eyes, he knew the answer wasn't simple. But one thing was clear. His life was about to take a drastic turn, and he needed to figure out which path to follow before it was too late. Chelsea's unyielding quest. Across town, Chelsea Lawson was on a mission of her own. Ever since her return to Geno City, she had been driven by one goal, to regain control of her life and find a way back to the happiness she once knew. But the path to redemption was fraught with obstacles, not the least of which was her own troubled past. Today, Chelsea found herself standing outside Adam Newman's penthouse, her heart pounding in her chest. Adam was a constant in her life, a man who had both lifted her up and torn her down more times than she could count. But she couldn't deny the pull she still felt towards him, the connection that refused to be severed no matter how hard she tried. Taking a deep breath, she knocked on the door, her resolve firm. She had something to prove, to herself, to Adam, and to everyone who had ever doubted her. When the door opened and Adam's familiar face appeared, she steeled herself for the conversation that was about to unfold. Chelsea. Adam greeted her, his tone cautious but curious. What brings you here? She stepped inside, her eyes locking onto his. We need to talk, Adam. About us, about Connor, about everything. I'm tired of running from my past, from my mistakes. It's time I face them head on, and I need to know where you stand. Adam's expression softened, and he motioned for her to sit. I've been waiting for this conversation, Chelsea. We've both made mistakes, but that doesn't mean we can't find a way forward. As they sat down to talk, Chelsea felt a sense of determination she hadn't felt in a long time. This was her chance to take control of her life, to carve out a future for herself and her son that wasn't defined by her past. But as the conversation unfolded, she realized that moving forward wouldn't be easy. Adam was as complicated as ever, and their history was a tangled web that wouldn't be easily unraveled. But Chelsea was nothing if not resilient. She had faced down her demons before, and she was prepared to do it again. As she looked into Adam's eyes, she knew that whatever the future held, she was ready to fight for the life she wanted, no matter what it took. The stage is set. As the day in Geno City drew to a close, the pieces were in place for the next round of battles, betrayals, and unexpected twists. Victor and Lily's plot against Billy was already in motion, Chance was standing at a crossroads that would change his life forever, and Chelsea was on the verge of reclaiming her power. The question was who would emerge victorious, and who would be left picking up the pieces. In Geno City, nothing was ever as it seemed, and tomorrow was sure to bring even more drama to the lives of those who called it home.